welcome to CATS Tutorials. And in this video, we're going to be covering practice problem 2.7. Now the question says, find IO and VO. If you can just look at the circuit, we have two nodes. We have two nodes in the circuit because between this branch or this element and this element, there's no other element here. So this, this forms a node. Again, between these two, there's no element here. So that becomes one node as well. But if we look at these two other nodes or these two other elements, this is also a node because there's no element in between these two. So this whole thing here is a node and this whole thing here at the top is also a node. So now let's use the top node as our reference or let me say, let's use the top node as the node of interest because the word reference uh, can refer to many other things in electronics. So let's just say this top node is the node which we are actually interested in, right? So we want to find IO and VO. IO is defined up here, is defined up here as the current which goes through this two ohm resistor. And now let's use some of the knowledge which we got from the textbook, which says if two nodes are shared or if two elements or more share two nodes, as you can see, all the elements here share two nodes. And the elements are actually in parallel, right? Parallel. So, all of these elements are in parallel. So what, what does that say in terms of electronics or circuits or analysis? That means the voltage across all these elements is the same. So this node here can be labeled as VO. This is indicated here as a voltage between the top and the bottom, which is VO. So all these elements have a voltage across them of VO, right? Which means VO also passes through here. So we can come up with a relationship between VO and I from those facts. So let's start. We're gonna say, let's come here. We're gonna say, since VO is across here, this, this resistor as well, so V, is equals to IR, which is Ohm's law. So the voltage across the two ohm resistor, two ohm resistor, let's substitute that in there, is VO. And the current through there is IO, right? So that is the relationship between VO and IO. So VO is equals to two IO. We're not done, so let's continue. Now, Let's analyze the current which is associated with this node up here. So this current goes in the node, that goes out, that goes out, and then here it's not indicated whether the current goes in or out. So it's up to you. You can say the current goes out, so it goes out of the node, this node, right? Or you can say it goes in the node. After solving this, you should get the same answer. You should always get the same answer because we have a rule or we know that the sum of currents entering and the, the sum of those leaving, so combining all currents in and out, add up to zero. So whether you choose this as going in and out, it doesn't really matter. But for this problem, let's say it's going out and then as homework, you can try the other way around. So let's say that current is going out of the node. So what you have to do now is to be consistent with your signs. So I'm gonna say the currents which go out of the node are positive and the currents which go in the node are negative. 
So to properly solve such a problem, you need this, you need this, you need this. You can also swap it around and say those that are going in are positive and the ones that are going out are negative, but be consistent, be consistent. So let's look at this. We have the nine amperes going into the node. So we said in is negative. So we have negative nine. Now we're forming the equation. We have negative nine, negative nine. And then we have IO going out. So we said out is positive. So plus IO. And we have this current source, which is going out. So we said out is positive. So IO divided by four. And finally, we have using this relationship of V is equal to IR. We know that VO is across the eight. So eight. So VO is across there. And now I want to find this current here. So it is an unknown current. So we can just call it X or something x right and what is the value of x x is equal to v o over 8 right so we can substitute v o over 8 as this current here so that is v o over 8 right so it's going out and we said out is positive so plus v o over 8 is equal to 0 this is the sum of the currents that are going in and out and it amounts to zero. Now we form this relationship earlier, which says VO is equal to two IO. So we can substitute that here. So let's do that. So minus nine plus IO plus IO over four plus substituting that two IO over eight, All right? Is equals to zero. So now that we have that, we can solve for IO. So multiplying through, we have um, 8 times 9, which is 72. Considering the negative sign, we have negative 72. And then multiplying through by 8, we have 2IO. And we have 2IO again, it goes to 0. Then we add these up, so that's 12, that's 12. IO is equal to taking the 72 to the other side, 72, and then dividing by 12, it should give you 6. So IO is equal to 6 amperes. That is your answer for IO. So we solved one part of the question. Now we move on to the second part of the question, which asks for VO. So VO, we established that VO is equal to 2 IO. So substitute this value which we got here. So two, and then substitute this value which is six, and we have VO is equal to 12 volts. And that is how you solve this question.